what's up real ones it is january 4th it's about 44 degrees got the sun shining a little bit it looks like there's no ice on the water so of course i'm going to come out and bust out the ultralight i need you to go down there hit that subscribe button hit that like button i'm gonna throw you guys on the chesty i only got about an hour and a half to fish so let's get to it back to this little cove back here i'm kind of cast him around a little bit see if i could find anything to bite back here not going to spend too much time in this area unless of course they're back here biting but just kind of going to work it lightly with the rod you know with the little swim bait see if there's any activity we're just going to throw him around in this area see if anything's interested a little chilly out here. Maybe I need to be down there where that sun's actually beating on the bank still. Because you know, obviously that's where the water would be the warmest. But I know up here is where the water flows in, so... Chance of there being bait fish swimming in here is a little bit better. There we go, baby. I believe that is a fish. We've got us one on, y'all. We have us a fish. Oh, that's a nice one. He's fighting away. Let's get him up on the bank. Oh, that's a nice spotted bass. He is ice cold, y'all. Look at this guy. Beautiful colors on him. Beautiful colors on this fish. See his lateral line, how it's broken up like that? That's how you can tell it is a spot. Look at his lips there. They're eating crawfish. So when their lips are red like that, that means that they're chewing. Oh, look at his little marking. Look at the little black marking. What is that? So we've got one in the bank. Let's get a nice release on him here. His teeth are sharp too. Been eating bait fish. Yes. Yes. We've got one. Alright, let's see if we could duplicate that. That's what I was saying. A lot of bait fish will be pushed back in this area because of this stream coming in. So that's why I was hoping that they'd be down this way, kind of chewing on bait fish. But we did it. We successfully caught us one. And one was the goal. So anything after that, you know, it's just bonus. Feels so nice to catch a fish. It was a nice one. I'd say probably about a half pound. <coughs> and it is January 4th. It is cold. This water is freezing. That's just proof that you still can catch fish even when it's cold. You know, everybody generally packs up and calls it a day. Now nah, you gotta just stay with it and you'll eventually find a fish. That is what's up. Oh, I thought we had a snow one. There we go, baby. There's number two. There is number two. Look at that back-to-back -back cast. And he feels like a nice one, too. They're out here feeding up. 
Oh, he's, yeah, he's a chunky one. Oh, he's digging. He is digging. Look at this little dude. Aggressive. Fat little belly on him. Fat little belly. Look how he ate that thing. Let's get him up here. Look at him. Just barely got him hooked. Look at him. Watch how easy this pops out. Oh, I lied. He was in there good. You weren't getting off, buddy. And there's a chunky number two. Again, look at the ladder. Look, he's got that little spot on him, too. What is that? He's got one on his fin as well. But not bad. A nice little half pound, maybe. Yeah, I'd say three quarters of a pound spotted bass there. And these fish are so fun to catch because they are aggressive in cold water. Even when it's cold out, you can still get them to bite. And away he goes. Yes. Now let's see if we can make that happen for a third time. Oh, he got my line all twisted. Alrighty, guys. So right here is where the audio cuts out. And you'll see where I do start talking about how when that water flow starts to come in out of that inlet, outlet, however you want to describe it, it will actually dig the bottom out and it will give a place for those bass to kind of like sit and hide and wait to ambush. Alrighty guys, so right here in this cast is the perfect example of why you want to target these areas. There will be bass sitting there waiting to ambush. As you notice, I cast directly parallel with the bank line, maybe four to five feet off of the actual water outlet or inlet, depending on how you want to describe it. And as you see here, we do catch a bass. Just look at how he choked that thing. Alrighty guys, so here's a nice look at our third fish. I'd say probably a nice quarter to a half pound. Really pale bass, but still nonetheless a really nice fish to catch, especially when it's 40 degrees outside. So I'm, you're going to notice that I'm going to walk over to the actual water inlet and stand on top of it. That way I can kind of switch up the um, direction of the casting angle. Um, few people actually understand that just switching up your casting angle can benefit you so much. Alrighty guys, this is the perfect example of how a bass will hide in that ditch just to wait to ambush a fish. As you see, I switched it up, I cast it along with the ditch, let it kind of drop down to the bottom and worked it back. already real one so this is our fourth and final spotted bass of the day as you can see he's probably no more than a half pound as well no bigger than you know any of the other ones we caught today but it was still nice getting out getting it or being able to catch four fish today on this really cold day hopefully this inspires you guys to get on or out on the water no matter the temp If you guys did enjoy the content make sure to go down there somewhere down in that little general region hit that subscribe button hit that like button it kind of lets you lets me know that uh you guys are enjoying the content leave a comment on anything that you want to see in the future and as always guys make sure to keep it safe keep it real and catch you some pond pickles i'll see you guys next time on the water peace <laughs>